Hey, what's up, guys? Went over the Bach uh, last night. I might as well go over the double Bach, right? The double Bach. Uh, and here's one that's, uh, they all have um, these kind of names, right? The original double Bach beer, there's always conflicting stories, but pretty much by the 1600s, the, uh, the monks of an order in Bavaria who have origins actually in southern Italy of all places. They were brewing a beer that they called Salvatore, right? Or uh, Salvator. Uh, and so all these double box done by all these breweries. Uh, they have some kind of uh, name like this, Ader, right? Of course, uh, there's a religious connotation. That, that basically, like most beer in Germany, there's always a religious affiliation. Right? Uh, the double box here, this one is uh, one of the ones I like. They're very different from each other. I don't like all of them i don't like the salvador that much it's too sweet okay these are very strong as you can see sun this is a malt liquor you heard uh 7.8 percent alcohol and of course it's cool if you know spaten right uh you have the double right? the double spades it looks like the uh the rad uh, emblem if you know who those are guys are but um essentially uh, it's uh I like the stuff that's not, that's bittersweet. I don't like it too sweet. I like the stuff that has like, uh, like this one has like almost a nutty sort of taste. It's it's not cloyingly sweet. It's very filling. Okay, of course the legend is that this beer was uh, what the monks would survive on. Right? Uh, but in this case, uh, the uh, it, it has a nice, and it's like a nice, Mm, refined flavor okay and also this is one that's readily available i mean you could find you could find this in a gas station i've i've found them in gas stations so anyway uh let's uh let's let's uh do some beer porn oh i know you hit you don't like that okay so ooh, look at that head right? this baby is a nice uh color darker sort of color uh, not as dark as the bach from uh, yangling but dark brown almost like a brown ale ah let that baby sit a little bit look at that nice head and look at the bottle real quick the green bottles i don't like the green bottles uh it doesn't affect this beer much but the green bottles let the light in okay that's why heineken's were always skunky whenever i grab one and a boat from a bodega back in the day not knowing anything about beer just knowing the oh, heineken's good yeah um the green bottle, especially the spot and the, uh, the the lager, the pilsner that they make, uh, it's affected greatly by the green bottle. Why they do that, I don't know, but uh, it doesn't affect this one. So now I'll let that sit enough. Look at that nice foamy, luxurious head. So I give me some head. All right. Mm. Yeah, yeah, baby. Not super sweet, not syrupy, sticky sweet, like some double box. This is really good, man. This this is bready. Nah, I hate to use these tasting notes, but these are it's bready, it's biscuity. I love when they say biscuity. Who the hell eats biscuits? If you do, you're eating southern biscuits, but um. Biscuity, nutty. Right? It's a bit nutty <laughs> uh, in, in the color and in flavor, and it hides the strength very well. Okay, some double box are kind of strong. You're like, whoa! But this one is nice. This one you got to be a bit careful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see what they are they say. Anything cool in the back? Oh, they have. Oh, look at this. They have the info as you can see. Uh, ooh, it's got a lot of carbs. Oh boy, a lot of calories. And he's stronger, so this is uh, more than the, the regular beer. So how nice to give. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Bloomberg, for giving us the uh, this stuff. He was one of the first ones that did that. Anyway, uh, freshest before October twenty-four. Okay. <clears throat> it's gonna be a f uh, well. <laughs> let's get to uh, October first this year. You wonder what they're gonna friggin' pull. These sons of bitches. But this is about the beer. This is not about the outside world. Oh. Mm. 
Do I want to smell out of my half broken nose? Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think I I think I tried this years ago when I was a dummy. Uh, I was not as smart as I am now at one point, uh, and I was like, "Ew, I don't like it." So, Merc. <laughs> but uh, man, uh, this is one of my favorite double box, and it's the most widely available. Like I said, you can find this in a damn gas station. Not in Pennsylvania, though. <laughs> uh, actually, you, no, you can get them now at Turkey Hills, but you probably won't get these. Uh, uh, they're starting to finally come around with that stuff uh, in the Quaker Plantation, but uh, I think I saw this in a 7-Eleven somewhere in Flushing once. But regardless, of course, the most famous beer is the Martzen. Right? I'm probably mispronouncing that. The Oktoberfest beer, uh, which is not the Oktoberfest beer, but anyway, no, I'm not going to get into all that. Great beer, okay? But we're going to try another one. Oh, boy. You know I'm spacing this video out because there's a lot of alcohol here, but... Okay, here's a, an American uh, German-style double box. It's actually pretty decent from a poor man's uh, Pennsylvania brewery. The Fort Senator. Right? So you got the Ator. I got uh, Ator, the Fighting Eagle. They were, I remember that movie. <laughs> um... Now this uh, this is more I guess in the style of like the Salvador, right? It's a little sweeter than what I usually like, but it's not too sweet. Man. And uh it's got the same color as the uh the Salvador. Okay, well of course Polaner uh brews that. So I like Polaner a lot, but I'm not a fan of the double bock as much their double bock as much. But this one's pretty decent. So uh, this brewery makes a lot of good German style beers. Also, Czech style beers, I mean, they make IPAs too, you know, they, you sort of have to, but uh, anyway, you see the head dissipating rather quickly though, right? Not like the Optimator, but anyway, so let's uh, enjoy some beer. It's not as sweet as Salvator, which is what I like. Has the tasting notes of raisin, fig, black currant. I'm going to do all that nonsense. But uh, this is not bad. They actually also make a smoked version of this. Okay, and Remember, I went over the Schlenkerle double bock, right? The, uh, the smoked um, uh, double bock that they make, which uses the oak wood rather than the beech wood. But uh, yeah, they make a smoked version of this. I wonder if they're going to do that again. So I kind of liked it. Uh, but, you know, worthy style. There are good American uh, styles of uh, when they make the German style beer. Uh, but I just wanted to sample this as well. Pennsylvania has a lot. I would say Pennsylvania probably has. Uh, there's a lot of things I could say about this place. But they do have a lot of good breweries, particularly in the east. And I have another swig here. Mm. Once again, very easy drinking. Careful, son. Careful. This thing's 8% alcohol, man. Anyway, a uh, little guest star. Alright, you know, Aventinus, Aventinus, however you pronounce it. Schneiderweiss. Uh, Bavaria's first wheat double box. Remember, the Bavarians are very clear that their beer is Bavarian. Schneiderweiss, great, great brewery. Uh, the Wheat Double Bock. This beer is so amazing. Uh, but I'm going to go over this in another vid. I just wanted to show it as a, another uh, Double Bock variation. I had mentioned the Smoked Double Bock from Schlenkirle. But this one is uh, pretty good, man. This is an excellent beer. And uh, yours truly, I actually drank two of these back to back like a fool. Back, uh, you know, when you get out of work, back in New York, and uh, they, luckily I was off the next day because, oh my God, I got knocked on my ass. So, but uh, more on this later for the uh, when I get back to Germany, the three-part epic Germany part of the beer book. Okay, uh, I'll feel the same. Good night.